Hello, I am Pat LaFrieda, and today I'm answering some questions for the Serious Eats community. Fritz asks, I am thinking of smoking a brisket for Christmas this year. What should I look for when selecting a brisket? What is a good temperature and time combination for smoking it? Lastly, what type of wood should I use to produce the best flavor? When selecting a brisket, especially to smoke it, the most important thing is to make sure you get the brisket whole. You don't want the point separated from the first cut. The first cut is what everyone seems to be selling now, and they leave out the best part, the most marbled part, which is the point. It's my favorite, and when I smoke brisket at home, I just remove the point and just use that. This is the point. So what you have here is essentially two muscles. The first cut and the point which lies just on top, separated by a good inch and a half of fat right here. In the point, this marbling is marbled as any Kobe steak you could ever get. And you can see that the first cut here, although longer, is much more lean. So after you smoke this, this part's gonna be a little bit more dry than this. My favorite wood to use for smoking brisket is simple oak and a little bit of applewood. Long and slow is the best way to smoke a brisket. So you're talking about 250 degrees for about 12 hours. It's gonna give you that smoky flavor and it's gonna penetrate the muscle as best as possible. When you're done with that 12 hour process, you'll literally be able to remove the top point from the first cut with your hands and then you can slice them separately. This is Pat LaFrida, happy cutting.